In other political news tonight, at last, Gary Johnson is included in presidential polling. It is a major win for the libertarian candidate who served two terms as governor of New Mexico. Our Stuart Dyson is here with how Johnson is doing. Stu. Well, Johnson has been there in Tampa. He's not welcome at the Republican convention since he switched over to the libertarians, but he's still finding plenty of people to talk to. And the message is, look, let's stop the spending. Let's end the wars. Let's abide by the Constitution of the United States. Johnson addressing a Ron Paul libertarian fest in Tampa right before the Republican convention. At last, he turns up in a major poll. A Rasmussen Reports poll finds 16 percent of the voters have a favorable opinion of Johnson, while 20 percent see him unfavorably. His big problem? 63 percent don't know enough about him to have an opinion. I'm going to be the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. Johnson will most likely be on the ballot in all 50 states, but in recent times, third-party candidates have not done all that well. There was Ross Pirot 20 years ago, winning 19% of the vote. John Anderson in 80, winning close to 7%. In 1968, George Wallace got 9%. And back in 1912, Teddy Roosevelt got 27% on the bull moose ticket. All along, Gary Johnson has been saying that you can win over voters by simply being included in the polling. People see your name, they think about you, they want to know more. We'll see if more pollsters follow Rasmussen's lead, and we're going to keep an eye on how Johnson's doing, too. Back to you, Nicole. All right. Thank you, Stuart. The state